cool. Another Dark Sides Diaries. I love these videos. I really do. They're entertaining. I love to be entertained. These videos are fun. In fact, they're great. I especially like the Weekly Gripe. Weekly Gripe's my favorite. I love these videos. There is no Weekly Gripe on this episode. Oh yeah? Yeah, sorry. I hate these videos. And welcome to The Diaries. Well, I hope you watched the last episode. It was pretty cool. It was uh, our road trip. Did not go exactly as planned, but these things seldom do. If you listen in the background, right now you're hit hearing this hissing sound. That is, uh, I am watering a planter, the, the bottom part of the planter, you know, where the water leaks through the, through the flower pot into the little basin while I'm soaking the basin because I'm old school and we do that kind of thing. We have a big change coming to the uh, Adventureland porch and that's part of it. And we'll get to that shortly. Um, but yeah, it was a fun trip and you'll know today I'm wearing a red shirt. Doesn't say anything on it. No, it's just a red shirt. It goes with my, my big red soda. Mm -hmm. I haven't had one of those in a long time. Anyway, um, so in this episode, I've got some behind the scenes of working with the band, uh, which was kind of entertaining. I'll show you that. We were going to be doing the big change on the Adventureland porch, um, which is basically the big fountain. You know, I have two fountains. I have the one with the little tea head, up, and then I got one that's got the two bamboo rods with the water coming down. Well, the one with the two bamboo rods has given me nothing but trouble since I built it. It doesn't stay together that well because the bamboo, now that's bamboo, it's not rattan. So bamboo splits when it gets hot. And I've gone through like four of those things now, just replacing one piece or another because they keep splitting. And naturally when that happens, the top uh, bamboo piece that the water comes out of initially tends to rotate or you know kind of move around like this and so the water doesn't come out right and it splashes all over so I finally got frustrated I'm gonna use that fountain for something else but I'm gonna put something there now and it's gonna be a different fountain and it's gonna be kind of a one of those you know sprinkling fountain spray fountains because um, I'm thinking of like the tiki room you know they have the enchanted fountain in the middle of the tiki room and even though that's more fantasy than really Adventureland-ish, even though it's in Adventureland, that's the main thing. I think I'm going to do that. So we'll go and do that kind of thing. I have to replace a few things in the Haunted Mansion area. Um, you know, I got the new lights and so forth. Uh, and the bus, the lights in the bus keep going out too quickly, so I'm going to make a modification on that. So just a bunch of stuff to follow up the big Disneyland, not very far me trip. Um, so, I guess, without any further ado, let's get... Oh, I want another thing. Um, I have a film shoot today in about 45 minutes, and I haven't set anything up yet. So, I guess I better do that first. I did not have to tell you that, because I'm not going to show you, but it just, you know, it came up in my head. So, uh, let me back up a little bit. Yes, now, nah, oh, yes, 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 no, what you find that for? Without any further ado, let's get going! You know something I haven't done in a lot of years? Built a plastic model kit. Now, I used to build them when I was a youngster, when I was a preteen, when I was a teenager. And I was one of those people who put all kinds of detail in what I did. Like if I did a car, I would actually put the uh, the cables 
on the engine, you know, the ignition cables, the spark plug cables, everything like that, and use uh, black string, generally. And, uh, you know, I was, I got very detailed, and most I did. <clears throat> and, uh, I was at Hubbub the other day, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get me a, a model kit, and build it, just for fun. And I did. I got a nice one, it's a Star Wars one. It's really cool. And here it is. Oh, that's so cute! Yeah, it's a little thing. I'm assuming there's only a handful of parts, and they're probably about the size of, you know, molecules. So, <laughs> might be a little complicated doing it, but I'm going to give it a shot. Because I haven't built a model in a long... Oh, no, it's actually... It's... Oh. Alright, but I'm going to build it anyway. These I used to do... So I'd either do them really quick, or I'd take forever. But, uh... There you go. What am I going to do with them after they're done? <laughs> I don't know. I'll give them to my daughter. She's a big Star Wars fan. Alright, so... I have to pull this out. We're going to change the fountain out. I'm going to pull that out. And I guess I'll pull that out too, because it came whether I wanted to or not. I'm going to remove this. Get water. Now, this fountain, or pump rather, I'm going to disconnect. And I'm sure this cable is wrapped around everything down there. Well, it's attached to an extension cord. Alright. I'll take care of that in a while. Now, put this up. Try to hold this out without ripping anything apart. It cannot be done. And you see, this is just the top part stayed, but you can see where it's cracked, it's cracked, it's just everywhere. So we pull all this out. This also is part of it. Okay, so right here, this is the space for the new base. And this. This is a new fountain. This is the whole thing. And I have a feeling it's going to stick up kind of high. Yeah, it does, but... Still here. Okay. Now, I have to put the water in it. Up to about, just below the top. And then we can test it out. But at night it will go on on its own. And it will light up in many different colors. So let's put water in it and test it out. Okay, so in case you couldn't tell, this is a solar powered fountain. But it has a backup battery. I'm going to turn it on for daytime. And we'll see where the water winds up. Apparently, it's not 
cheap enough. pretty good not too high yesterday I went to the grocery store and I bought some uh, powdered sugar I needed it for some beignets I got hooked back on them I haven't had beignets in forever and we went if you saw the last episode when we went uh, at the very end we went to the Jazz Kitchen Express got gumbo and we got some beignets so I loved them so much and whereas I'm not supposed to have a heck of a lot of that kind of thing, um, I'm going to anyway. So, I got some uh, Café du Monde beignet mix, and uh, I got powdered sugar. Now, <coughs> I don't like a lot of powdered sugar on anything. Um, I like it enough to sweeten something, but I don't like it, you know, where you can blow on it and get this, you know, cloud. But there's something magical about powdered sugar. I went to buy it. Uh, I got the C&H in a box. I picked up the box. I was wearing this shirt. I picked up the box, and as soon as I looked at the box, there was powdered sugar all over my shirt. Did the box leak? Nope. Was it laying around on the floor? Nope. It just comes out of the box through osmosis or something, and I'm just on my shirt. And I looked at that and I went, well, that's kind of amazing. So I put the back, the back's box, I put the box back, I dusted off my shirt. I thought, hmm, maybe I'll get the bag of it instead, the small bag. So I picked up the small bag and I checked it out. It wasn't c &H, it was another manufacturer. I picked it up and it's quite is on my shirt again. It's like that stuff is attracted to a red shirt. So I figured no matter which I get, I'm going to wind up with powdered sugar on my shirt. So I put it back. I got the c &H. As I'm checking out, I swear, I'm not kidding. As I walked down the aisle, my shirt got wider and wider and wider. I look like a cocaine fiend here. Carrying this powdered sugar. So I put it in a bag when I got home. I put it in a, the box in a bag. I dusted off my shirt. I put the bag in the cabinet. Close the cabinet door. It was on my shirt again! I'm realizing why I don't get a lot of powdered sugar. Because it just magically appears in places where it shouldn't even been able to get to. It's inside of a box. It's inside of a bag. It's a plastic bag, by the way. So it's inside of a box, inside of a plastic bag. And inside the box, I happen to know that it's also in a bag. And it's also on my shirt! I don't know what it is about powdered sugar. It likes my red shirt. Now, if I had wear, been wearing my black shirt, it probably still would have been there. And the only thing is it would not even easier to see because I was wearing black. But I don't know. That powdered sugar is kind of freaking me out, man. It's like it's coming from all sides. I don't know what to do with it. First things first, I'm going to see. We're having a band rehearsal here today. You can hear Morgan, who can't play the drums, playing the drums. And um, since everybody's here, and I've never really filmed with everybody's here, here's part of... You're just a shadow. You're just a shadow. What's wrong with you? There we go. 
Yes, it's uh, Malcolm McDowell and Thomas and Harry Styles. Didn't know he played in our band. For those of you who don't know, Kyler here, who is a bit of a lunatic, is our drummer, percussionist, and singer. And Morgan, also known as Harry Style, <laughs> is our lead singer and keyboard player. And Thomas, who's been taking lessons from me for years and still can't play. I'm kidding. Practice. He plays all right. He's our guitarist and background vocalist. What's on these things? This is not worth the money. And I, where am I? There I am. You already know, I play bass. And no, I, do vocals. I have a very important Get message. Get your hand out of me. What? What? Before I snap your wrist, Ow, what? Okay, okay. What? What? I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say some gibberish. Yeah, I figured as much. So, this is band rehearsal. Okay, so the thing is this one. You see these, not this way. Let's go this way. You see these two vestibules over here. Okay. For them to work properly, to get the illusion, they have to be illuminated from behind. Now, I got a bunch of these. I showed them to you before. These are LEDs, and they're multi-light. You can use any color. So I mean, it's so close. So you can use any color. Um, you know, you just set it in there. And uh, they're waterproof. They take three batteries. And the batteries last for about nine minutes, apparently. Because every time I put them in, those things, they like, I turn them on once, and then I turn them off. When I turn them on again, they're, they're dead. Now, not too long ago, I'm listening to the baseball game, by the way, if you're wondering if the other way it's Not too long ago, I got these. Now, these are candles. Well, they're, they're electric candles. Um, I use them in the... Chandelier, I use them in a couple of spots in here. Uh, I got a bunch of them that run off a of remote control. And this is the remote control for this light. Shaboogie. Okay? Now, these lights can light up in two different ways. They can light up normal, and they can light up in candle. Now, in candle, they flicker. It's pretty hard to see with the camera but or they can be turned on solid all right now this is plenty bright enough to light up I did it again these two vegetables well one in each one right so and you can make them brighter or duller you know however um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out the, the never work <laughs> lights and I'm going to replace them with one of these in each one. Now, uh, these are really light. They're very lightweight. They last a long time. They use button batteries instead of the triple A's. So I'm going to put the uh, Velcro on the back of this and just <coughs> to these things to the back of the vestibule. So, yes, he took off the third base already. Let me tell you a thing. Oh, look, I got things lit everywhere. Um, so what I'm going to do right now, you can even see. I'm going to take this one, Velcro it on, and I'm going to put it over here on my little tray, and I'm going to replace the light right now. Well, the light turned out to be a little too dim, and uh, I found the one of those crappy lights that was in one of the vestibules is still working fine. It's been in there for a couple of months. So it might just be I've got a bad fixture. So I took the ones that I've got, I checked them out, find out which one looked like it worked the best, and I put it in there with uh, Aunt Lucretia. So and another cool thing I found out this remote which is for these lights they will work all of the lights in here everyone that needs a remote this will well you can't see it if you could you'd be going my gosh they're all coming on yes 
favorite. So it's kind of cool that I've got enough <laughs> remotes, and I could just use the one. Awesome, awesome. Okay, what you're looking at here is my six-string Ibanez bass. You're looking at the body of it. And uh, right now, it's looking upside down to you, so I'd be playing it this way, you see? And whereas it is an awesome bass, just absolutely amazing bass, it, uh, I'm going to add something to it, or I'm going to try to. And this will either work or it won't. <laughs> Can't argue with logic like that. What I'm doing, this is a, uh, a decal, and it is a guitar decal. It's specifically for a guitar. And there's a certain way you have to prepare it, which I am doing right now. And let's see if this works. Pulling the backing off very carefully. This is like transferring a t-shirt. It's got to stay on the clear part. And it's not... Uh, Cooperating right at the moment. There we go. Now the idea is to try to put this right in here. But I'm going to have to trim it. You can see I'm going to have to trim the edge so the transfer is a little narrower. Trimmed it. Slide it in there very carefully. Carefully. Just like that. Careful. Ta da! for our side yes I bought this <laughs> well I bought the base you know that but I bought this uh, guitar decal for eight bucks off of Amazon and I have prime so it didn't cost anything to have it <laughs> to have the big heavy package ship it was one of the few times I've opened a package and it was it was actually heavier when I emptied it out that's how small this is all right looks good all right, that's going to be the end of this episode, and I'll tell you why. Yeah. So, uh, next episode, we should have, um, well, I'm working on a project for a new project, or something like that, and um, I have to finish a prop, which I started, and it's kind of, it's fighting me. It's battling me the entire way. I got that some music stuff theoretically and probably some other stuff dealing with the great well we can't do much of the great outdoors because the great outdoors is trying to kill everybody right now so we have to wait until the weather improves uh, and then we will get back to that and then uh, one other thing I'm going to tell you about is how it is I am maintaining something now I've mentioned quite often that I'm not happy with my weight I have mentioned quite often I'm going to start doing a diet blah 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 and then it always falls apart. Well, I actually started one uh, a week and a half ago, almost two weeks ago, and I'm almost down by 10 pounds. My goal is to get down to about 175, okay? When I first started this diet, I was at 240, which is too much for somebody who's only seven foot, seven, seven foot, seven foot five. I don't look it, but I'm a really tall guy. No, five foot seven. 
Yeah, seven foot five. I don't think I'd even want to be that tall. Anyway, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you one of the things that I that I make. You know, because I haven't done a cooking thing in a long time. So I'm going to show you one of the things that I make that's low in calorie and oh, god, is it good? And I will show it to you uh, in the next episode, unless I forget, because it may be getting thinner, but I'm not getting any better with the memory so we will see what happens there anyway that kind of sort of thing oh and also we're going to be starting uh, getting Halloween together so that kind of thing should be coming in the next episode which should be sooner than the last couple have been uh, the, uh, we know that these come out really sporadically and usually with long spaces between them and I noticed that people are starting to lose interest because they've lost a couple of subscribers, which I really don't want to do. So um, I'll try to bring the next one out sooner. In the meantime, you guys have yourselves a great week. End of line.